Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining us here. I know we had a change in venue with the incoming weather. We appreciate that you found us and made it here. If you are able, please stand for the presentation of the colors, followed by the national anthem. Welcome to our concert tonight, saluting the 80s. That song was from the 1880s. <laughs> That's the only song you're going to hear tonight from the 1880s. Uh, written in 1889, that is the famous Washington Post March, uh, written by Sousa as part of a contest from the Washington Post newspaper, uh, trying to come up with an official march that could sell uh, more papers in town. 
So that's his famous march of the Washington Post. Uh, this time I just want to remind you all that if you are still stuck in the 80s, make sure you turn off your pagers, okay? <laughs> cell phones, things like that, uh, during the concert. And I uh, well, we do want to say a special thank you to Troop 5295 for providing, again, our color guard this evening. So thank you very much. <laughs> all right, so it's time for a flashback. Uh, I am a child of the 80s. This is my music. Um, so we're going to take an 80s flashback, and in this arrangement, you're going to hear some familiar themes. You're going to hear Michael Jackson's Thriller, Cindy Lauper's Time After Time, Survivor's Eye of the Tiger, Jennifer Warren's and Joe Cocker's Up Where We Belong, and Bon Jovi's You Give Love a Bad Name. This is the 80s flashback.
So our next hit song comes from the big movie of the summer of 1984, Footloose. Who here has never seen Footloose before? My kids are like the only ones raising their hands. Okay. So it's the movie that made Kevin Bacon a star. And I didn't know this until I was looking up the, about the song. It's actually based on a semi-true story from Oklahoma, or an actual village where they were not allowed to dance. So this is Kenny Loggins' Footloose. slow things down a little bit now. And in the words of Casey Kasem, this is our long distance dedication to our sponsors. You will find in the center of your program. Um, so, yeah, that was a lousy transition. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, um, so if you look in the center of your program, you will find uh, our sponsors. We really do appreciate them. Uh, individuals, corporations, foundations uh, who support this group. Uh, and again, we're, the list is growing every week. I put another like four in this week. So thank you so much to those sponsors who keep the music going here uh, with the City Band all summer long. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> so if you were a fan of Chicago from the beginning, Chicago in the 1980s may have sounded just a little bit different than what you were used to. Um, and with the release of Chicago 17, they had the classic 80s soft rock sound. That was my introduction to Chicago. So you can imagine going back and listening to their first album, what a difference that was for me, going the other direction. Um, but this song topped out at, nine, at number three in 1984. And uh, You're the Inspiration was originally written by Peter Cetera for Kenny Rogers. I can't imagine Kenny Rogers singing this song. Um, and apparently he couldn't either because he turned it down. But this is You're the Inspiration by Chicago.
Joliet Jake and Elwood Blues. In 1980, they were on a mission from God. And their mission was to rescue the poor orphanage where they had grown up in Cook County in Chicago, and nothing was going to stand in their way. Not 108 cars, not that wonderful Picasso statue in downtown Chicago, okay? But the Blues Brothers movie is now a classic. Um, it had great guest cast, Ray Charles, Aretha Franklin, Cab Calloway, James Brown, John Lee Hooker, um, great blues musicians. So it's a love letter to the blues. Uh, of course, spun off from Saturday Night Live, uh, where they got their, their start as the Blues Brothers, before that, the Killer Bees. Um, in this, we're going to hear four songs done by the Blues Brothers. You're going to hear their theme song, I Can't Turn You Loose, Soul Man, Soul Finger, and Everybody Needs Somebody to Love. This is the Blues Brothers Review.
Blues Brothers Band, each other out. <laughs> Great job, band. So, Back to the Future. Probably one of the greatest science fiction trilogies ever made. The story of Marty McFly trying to go back in time and make sure his parents fall in love so he can exist. Um, with two sequels that, if you've seen them, are the same movie. If, if you watch them back to back to back, it's very repetitive. Um, but again, great science fiction. I actually heard an interview done uh, with the director and producers, and they said that they would be willing to make a Back to the Future Part 4, as long as the, the, long as the plot was Marty and Doc going in time to make sure that Back to the Future Part 4 never got made. <laughs> So this is great music by Alan Silvestri, Back to the Future. big hit from Gloria Estefan's debut album. It's interesting, this was her debut solo album, and yet she's still backed by Miami Sound Machine on the album, but it's her solo debut, I don't know. Um, but Miami Sound Machine had a series of great hits all through the 1980s. Um, again, this album came from 1989, and this hit went all the way to number 11. Uh, if you feel like getting up and moving around, feel free. Just get on your feet.
This time I'm going to have my lovely assistants come over here with the jar. We're going to do our ticket drawing for this week's door prize. Once again, we are giving away one of our wonderful gift certificates to Albrecht's for some donuts. So if you get your lucky ticket handy. And we have ticket number six. Two zero eight six seven. Eight six seven, right back there. All right. Uh, hey, Elizabeth, would you take this out, sir? Smart. <laughs> Uh, I do want to take this opportunity to tell you about tomorrow night in Sydney. If you go to the Sydney Civic Band concert downtown on the Port Square, it is the last concert of the summer for them. So downtown Port Square, seven o'clock tomorrow night. They are doing movies and musicals. So some great songs from movies and musicals that you will all know. Uh, come out and support them seven o'clock tomorrow night downtown in Sydney. So the Stray Cats were founded in New York. And then they had so little success there, they moved to Great Britain. And in Great Britain, they almost single-handedly restarted the rockabilly uh, movement there and then brought it back here. Um, I gotta say, it's somewhat ingenious to put the name of your group in your hit song. So everybody remembers. So the Stray Cat Strut by the Stray Cats. Um, but this went to number three in 1983 here in the US. This is the Stray Cat Strut. There's one king of rock and roll, one queen of soul, and there's only one king of pop, Michael Jackson, who had a series of hits all through the 1970s, 1980s, even into the 1990s. So we're going to pay tribute to him now uh, with this collection of tunes. So in here you're going to hear the, the, the songs Billie Jean, She's Out of My Life, Say, 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 uh, Human Nature, and of course, Beat It. This is Michael Jackson's Spectacular.
Journey has been around since the early 1970s. They're still going today. Um, but probably their most famous period was when they had Steve Perry for their lead singer in the 1980s. So we're going to do a collection of songs from that time period. Um, you're going to hear in this medley, Any Way You Want It, Open Arms, Separate Ways, my personal favorite Journey song, um, and the ubiquitous and perhaps overplayed, thanks to Glee, Don't Stop Believing. But here are, here's the best of Journey. <coughs>
We have a little audience participation with this next one. Um, so, hot, hot, hot. You probably are familiar with uh, in the version by Buster Poindexter. Uh, he recorded that in 1987. If you aren't familiar with it, or you think you aren't, you are. Uh, it has been used over and over and over again in commercials, movies, television shows. But it was originally done by a European singer by the name of Arrow. Um, but we all know the Buster Poindexter version. So, in the middle of this song, you guys have an assignment. Your assignment is to sing. If you don't know what to sing in this song, it goes like this. Oe, 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 feeling hot, hot, hot. Everybody got it? Hot, hot, hot. And believe me, it is hot, hot, hot. So, how many of you saw Top Gun Maverick when it came out last uh, time? How many of you saw Top Gun? Okay, the, the vast majority. Um, so, Kenny Loggins' hit song, Danger Zone, is of course very much important in the first film and it was used again in the second. Uh, you might be interested to know, however, that Kenny Loggins was not the producer's first choice for singing this song. He wasn't their second, their third, their fourth, their fifth, their sixth, their seventh. They went through Toto, Jefferson Starship, Corey Hart, a lot of other singers, and then finally somebody said, what about Kenny Loggins? And apparently it took. Um, so, and in fact, he offered to re-record the song with a new version for Top Gun Maverick, and Tom Cruise said, no, no, it's classic. We're not touching it. So they just reused it in the film. Here's Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins. Thank you. 
All right, we have saved the best for last. We've got the 80s, a decade of hits. So I guess in theory, we just played this and gone home. Um, but in this piece, you're going to hear a lot of music. Um, you're going to hear One Moment in Time by Whitney Houston, Billy Jean, again by Michael Jackson, Bad by Michael Jackson, Material Girl by Madonna, Somewhere Out There from uh, American Tale. I don't know if you guys remember that movie or not, with Linda Ronstadt singing it. Don't Worry, Be Happy, Bobby McFerrin. Flash Dance by Irene Cara, Uptown Girl by Billy Joel, Physical by Lily Newton John, Faith by George Michael, Memory from the musical Cats, John Williams' Olympic Fanfare, I'm not done, um, <laughs> Char Chariots of Fire from Chariots of Fire, Phantom of the Opera, uh, That's What Friends Are For, the Burt Backrack hit uh, with Dionne Warwick and the whole, cat, the whole group of people. And speaking of a whole group of people, We Are the World. Uh, and finally, John Williams' theme from E.T. So this is the entire decade of the 80s in one medley, the 80s, a decade of hits.
can't tell you what it's like to get there in front of this marvelous group of musicians. They are fantastic. Just a brief word about next week. So next week's concert is British Marches and More. Uh, we're going to test your knowledge of British music. We'll play some great marches, but we're also going to play music by the Beatles, the British Invasion, some music from Mary Poppins, um, so a lot of uh, British music. And then in two weeks, it's our Richard Rogers and Stephen Sondheim concert, Rogers and Sondheim, uh, and that's here again at 7 o'clock, both next week and the week after. And then stick around for the following week on August 10th, and we have Swing Era here on that, uh, that night at 7 o'clock. So thank you again so much for coming. We're going to close now, as we always do, our National March. The stars and stripes forever. Thank you again.